this is a VR game. Your body is just an avatar. It's not the truth. What you see of your of yourself as a physical body is, um, and this this is this is where it really gets personal. Is I, I thought that was me. No, whatever I am, according to Darwin's theory, is not this body. There's nothing like this body. This this is just a headset version. This is I'm seeing this body as an adaptive fiction to stay alive long enough to reproduce. Period. That's what his theory entails. And what I'm saying is is that Darwin's theory entails something more radical than that. It's not that we just got a low resolution approximation to the truth. It's that there is no approximation whatsoever. What we experience and whatever reality is are utterly different. So so that's why I think this is safe to say. Whatever we see is not the truth, and it's trivial. Space-time is doomed, and with it, quantum theory. Quantum theory is tied to space-time. Quantum field theory, for certain, is, is tied to space-time. And what they're finding are these things called positive geometries, and that's what the, the ERC is funding this 10 million euro um, effort on, are these positive geometries, the amplitudehedron, associahedron, um, cosmological polytopes, and surfaceology. These are new geometric structures beyond space-time, utterly beyond space-time. Yeah. It turns out, for example, in the amplitudehedron, that there's one of the parameters in the amplitudehedron for, for is, is a parameter that can take integer values. Um, and for our universe, it's four. But the amplitudehedron can be defined for a billion, a trillion. Four is actually our little headset, and it's trivial. So we're stuck the way I look at it is what we're finding, we're stepping outside of our headset and we're finding we got cheated. We got one of the, 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 the cheap models. It's only got four dimensions. And our mathematics is telling us that whatever reality is outside of our little tiny headset that we thought was the truth, reality has basically an infinite number of other possibilities. And that's only in our first little step outside of the headset. The, 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 I think the appropriate thing to do is to say, very modestly, we're working very, very hard in our standard model of particle physics, and we've and we've it's what we've done is fantastic, and it's zero percent of reality. That that might seem like I'm saying, well, you know, we should just throw up our hands in despair. No, no, it's we should explore and have fun in our little headset.